as Kautub said, I am basically a mechanical engineer, done my industrial engineering and MBA, an engineer turned yoga teacher. Incidentally, like sir, engineer turning yoga teacher. Okay. I want to share how the transformation took place and the role played by sir in my transformation is what I am going to share with you. Can you believe? It's me. When I was 30. <laughs> now, the transformation happened in three stages. First, from an executive to a yoga teacher. Then I was groomed yoga teacher for yoga teachers. Then yoga teacher, now I am spending time only with executives. The three stages. This is my corporate profile. Okay. Then, this is what when I got my diploma, <coughs> when I was 50, okay, now I am 70 years young. Now I want to share with you how I came to KYM. Problems are part of life. I had my own share of problem both in my professional life and family life. Fortunately, unfortunately, both happens at the same time. Getting married and getting into a job. So, I, I don't know how I missed them both. I don't know what to do. I had a daughter. I cannot call off my marriage. Easy is to call off my professional life, which I did in 94, at the age of 48. I didn't know how to relate with time. I don't know where to go. So, that's the time the advertisement came. Postgraduate diploma in yoga in Krishnamachar Yoga Mandiram. I wrote that entrance exam, maybe 100 plus wrote, and about 40 or thing people have been called for the interview. And when I came for the interview, there are three panel members, two of them were already my facet colleagues. You can just imagine my agony with whom I could not get along. <laughs> that was the panel. Oh, the third person is unknown person to me. Anyhow, I took a chance. I answered to the best of my ability. Later, I came to know they want to play safe. Vasu is a tough guy, as you see in the photograph, no? First. So, very difficult to bend. That's a remark. They passed it on to sir. It seems sir told them, our job is to bend. Let us see. Then I was called for the personal interview. That's the first time I met sir. Sir asked me straight on my face. Vasu, I know you got problem both in uh, family life and personal life. Do you want to take uh, yoga as an escapism route for your problems? That's why you want to join uh, this diploma course? What's your objective? Only one question. I told him, sir, I'm 48. I don't know my leftover lifespan. I don't know what all the mistakes I have done in the past. I want to know my erroneous zones and the way to come out. Maybe yoga may give me some idea for me to lead better life during my leftover lifespan. That was my answer, got selected. Then the course began. The Yoga Sutra, I liked it most because not descriptive, script like formulas. As an engineer, Okay, I liked it very much and I got so engrossed in that news, you know, all along dealing with the gross material and subtle mind and uh, the rules are different, totally different game to play. So, I enjoyed that science, Yoga Sutra very much. At the end of the seminar, uh, semester, the exam came, I wrote the exam. I passed in all except Yoga Sutra. I was shot. How can I fail in a subject which I love most and I spend so much time then uh, at that age, 49, I, accept, I can't accept failure. I am a university first in postgraduate diploma in industrial engineering and I got high distinctions in all my management subjects in my MBA. With that background, academic background, I can't accept 
failure at the age of 49 in the subject which I like most. I want to give up the course. My asana teacher was Sahita Murthy, whom you have met last week. She is such a nice lady. She talked to me over 45 minutes. Uh, she knows she has understood me over a, over a period of time, you know. Vasu, please continue. The kind of pain what you have gone through in life, right? The experience what you have gained and how you are going to come out will be a valuable uh, knowledge for your future career, for your own life, for life of others. Please continue. The thing is, I have to write the exam again. I asked her, the teacher taught me Yoga Sutra, I understood it. I understood it in my own way. That's all my understanding is. If my understanding is wrong, any number of times I am going to write the exam, I am going to write only wrong answers. So, what is the point in writing the exam again and again and again? I must know why my understanding gone wrong. Otherwise, there is no point in writing the exams. She forwarded my um, um, message to sir. Sir understood my problem. Yes, he is right. He called the teacher. The teacher happened to be the third member in that panel. <laughs> she is a university professor. She told, no, in our university, if the candidate feels uh, unhappy about the correction, uh, some other person can correct the paper. No, sir got annoyed with that reply. If a person has not understood something, it's okay. But if understanding is wrong, that is dangerous. I, it is not Madras University, it is Krishnamacharya Yoga Mandiram. Sit with him, see why he went wrong, why his understanding gone wrong, correct him. He is asking a right question. Okay? He made it very clear to her that she has to sit with me and not, not like a, somebody else evaluating the paper. We sat together for an hour and a half and she declared and I have passed. You see, that is how, but she took revenge on me after 15 years. That I will talk later. <laughs> then, I took, uh, I got the kick of this Yoga Sutra. I had gone through a book, Super Memory Technique. I applied certain techniques in that Yoga Sutra and I memorized 1 to 195. I can say 195 to 1. Given the sutra, I can tell the chapter and the number. Given the chapter and the number, I can tell the sutra. See, many people have uh, memorized Yoga Sutra. In uh, year 76, the institute started. I am in 95. I was the only guy to go back 195 to 1. Sir came to know about it. Then he liked my interest in that. He asked me to join the morning class. Why he taught Yoga Sutra and Bhagavad Gita? I was so happy to be his direct student in, in the house along with the senior teachers. I, I, he will link. If something comes in Bhagavad Gita, come on, what is the Yoga Sutra for it? For example, Sattva Rajas Tamas. What is the word for Patanjali uses in Yoga Sutra? Pragasha Kriya Stiti. So, like that, you know, you link. Any sutra, I will ask for the linking sutra. I was enjoying so much, you know. That led to my committing for my PhD, Yoga and Self-Management, only Yoga Sutra concepts I applied for executives. To that extent, Sar's influence was there on me to go deeper into the subject. As I always say, pain pushes a man from materialistic life to philosophical life. Severe the pain, one goes deeper. Not only goes deeper, he comes out successfully also. This is my early stage as a entry to mandra. Now comes the second stage. Yoga teacher to yoga teachers. No need to say uh, how, how rajasic I would have been then. So, how can I be a yoga teacher? Sir had a plan for me. Initially, he gave me only special children. Well, I can't transact with them freely or fast, you know. They learn by imitation. They don't, they don't learn by communication. So, that is how they, he cooled me down and paced my teaching methodology and how he has taken care of me. He groomed it just like a kindergarten school, no? I was inducted to be a yoga teacher for the special children. Okay. After gaining confidence, I used to get other students. Now, the big officers, 
big corporate executives when they come for yoga they will always expect sir to teach them is it possible for sir to teach everybody my age was my advantage my 30 years corporate experience and uh, this knowledge is good but i may have the age but what about my yoga teacher experience hardly a year you know when after the consultation he, he designs a course for the student he will send me a word when i come there he will introduce me to the teacher you know how vasu uh, sir in the problem vasu sir has, um, uh, has come with this problem see the course is it okay is it uh, we can do it now then we can see so he builds an image right as if he is checking with me so that the students feel may feel that they are going to be allocated to a very senior teacher whom sir respects see he builds that image he builds that acceptance teachers would have accepted my god i am telling you how many in a family industry people are doing that they will run they will run the show they they will not allow the next generation to take over see i am totally a new person how he presents to the high executive high power government officials vasu is it okay i really admire so the image building how he is grooming me now that's the time we had a international conference alternate system of healing even dalai lama was there in that uh, seminar there he asked me was you come on you go and speak see as an engineer or a corporate guy i might have made a few presentation to my management alone i never had an opportunity to talk to public he said hey, nothing much just say why you came to uh, mandram and uh, what is the difference you found the corporate world and this mandram and how did it help you that's all you won't share my god the confidence he had in me and he has got a special eye to identify the hidden potential of an individual and he brings it out i never knew i can address a gathering such a gathering which i never seen in my life i can't think of an international seminar and why he asked me to share just 15 minutes how i spoke i don't know what i spoke you don't ask me now <laughs> i spoke sir told yes you are done justice very good see that is sir i didn't know i am a public speaker he brought that what is in me he brought it out okay then he was preparing me to teach the foreigners that time the exchange program no davidson college students were come and they are stationed at uh, christian college international hostel they were there about 20 students or so he selected me and uh, my colleague lakshmi for uh, chanting both of us are supposed to go to the college and teach okay he has given me the course planning how to teach i have to take care of the asana pranayama and she will teach the meditation you know how he monitored the thing he next elas how many people came for the class and uh, at what time they came if the students are punctual if there are no dropouts that means you are creating interest in the students that is the parameter it told a teacher should have that is a voluntary optional course for the students if they should come 100% if they come on time that means you have created interest in them you are doing a good job so i won over him next stage that time we used to have the november course four weeks program he made me to be the coordinator between the teacher and student my job is to note down the questions being asked by the student and the answer given by the teacher so this my i have to record i have to present it to sir at the end of the day they meet all the participant meet in sir's place there if the answer is not adequate you will elaborate one thing what it is very made it very clear is if a teacher does not know the answer he shall say so i don't know i'll check up with my teacher and i'll come back not to bluff not to just dilute or don't i mean that's very clear instruction to the teachers and he prepared me then gave me the opportunity to handle the group okay that time there are a lot of uh, things are going on in indian yoga institutes teachers and lot of thing foreign magazines they want to interview the heads of the institute and few teachers but what's happening really in the institutes what kind of a job they are doing are they really doing any service 
like that they are doing that interview that in uh, that couple came to kishmachar yoga mandiram they interviewed sir they wanted to interview few teachers so i happened to be one among them is a more than an hour session online recording session and sir was there and a um, journalist uh, they were there and i given the mic just imagine then i interview that's being recorded on time um, online and the sir is questioning me very difficult tough questions i have been subjected to do i'll share two questions sir asked me you are a energetic young guy from a affordable background with a corporate background okay here in krishnamacharya yoga mandiram one to one teaching a beautiful young girl has been allocated to you you lock yourself in a room because one to one teaching how do you resist your temptation this is the question see the depth of the question how do you resist your temptation see for a moment how to answer that question i told him sir i am from a small upbringing in our tradition we don't mix with girls and we don't touch or talk like that and even my college days i spent my days in sports i'm a university volleyball player and uh, in fact uh, as far as i am concerned women is not an object of enjoyment that is my value system if a girl comes okay when she is not an object when i don't see her as an object of enjoyment what is the question of temptation when there is no question of temptation what is the question of resisting the temptation i don't know whether i answered the question rightly or wrongly sir i don't know said you did it that lady said <laughs> okay then the next uh, question maybe the last question uh, the, the journalist man male journalist asked me what you have been telling so many things about you your negatives and, and the guidance what sir gave you and how you changed yourself now tell me is it because of your effort you the transformation happen or is it because of uh, desika chair's guidance it has happened or is it because of the hanuman whom you worship god is it because of that it happened what is it who is the real cause for your transformation i told him if only my effort should have brought this transformation why it should happen in krishnamacharya yoga it happened before itself because it happened after coming under the guidance of sir it is my effort plus sir's guidance it happened on top of it human effort and divine support now these three things are involved i am not knowledgeable enough to apportion it this percentage is my effort this percentage is sir's confidence um, 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 contribution this uh, this portion is god sorry sir i am not that knowledgeable to apportion it sir got up and said i am proud of you just the feedback i got after that interview i was so happy you know is a is a tough interview i gone through and now i want to share one experience with a t- one lady doctor she had lot of problems as kaushup said if any addiction depression the name is vasu that's all sometimes they give the course sometimes you handle it that's how they leave the person to me in this case menaka madam happened to be the consultant she gave the course and uh, because depression is vasu and we had the first class i taught her the breathing technique and a few movements because she happened to be the doctor my wife happened to be a doctor also so i sp- spent more time with her explaining the medical justification for the course what you have been given the breathing technique and all that's all i know next day um, day after next i think sir call me when is your class for the doctor i said next thursday sir what time 4 o'clock okay that's all ne- next week she came and uh, as she entered i was just reviewing uh, her cl- previous class sir entered the room and he sat you come and you teach you just got um, i taught her the breathing technique reviewed and few moments that day started uh, taught her uh, divapada pedam and apanasana okay about 30 minutes are gone or uh, 40 minutes are gone then uh, sir asked me go and get me glass of water i went out by the time went out to get a glass of water and brought back 
he asked her why did you want to change your teacher she went and told uh, madam that i don't want vasu i don't want uh, i want to change i want to change in the teacher madam madam told sir she wants a change in the teacher sir wants to observe what went wrong in vasu's teaching see we have got certain norms in teaching not to touch the uh, student and then if the lady uh, student keep her eyes open even the lying posture and keep the respectable distance she shall not any way feel um, humiliated there are a lot of norms there that is what probably you would have thought uh, this lady must have been uncomfortable already she is a depressed lady uh, some uncomfortableness what is what is that was to be corrected probably you might have come when i entered he got up put his arm around my shoulder vasu there is no problem with you she wants a lady teacher that's all she said then he addressed to the doctor doctor in a government hospital you can change the doctor here we don't change here the teacher student relationship is important vasu gone through many pains in life he can understand the pain of others that's why we choose him for you we can't change the teacher for the convenience of the student this is our system choice is yours thank you doctor see he is very clear on the teacher student it is not that because simple reason i want to change no if there is a genuine reason i am not comfortable with his way of talking or way of conducting yes he would have changed the teacher but when there is nothing wrong in the teacher's behavior just for the sake of uh, student's sake he has got that values i am telling you amazing the confidence what he has in me this is how i have been groomed as a teacher now come to the last stage how how we got direct benefit uh, from sir in my own personal life which is the base for my present life family counseling my wife happened to be a gynecologist a leading gynecologist we got separated almost 6 years 91 we got separated 94 i came to uh, mandram 95 maybe this meeting happened after 5 years and she wanted an appointment with sir sir uh, to tell about something so sir gave the appointment and uh, he asked me to come to the house at, at uh, 3 o'clock maybe 4 o'clock something i i went when went to his house in upstairs my wife was sitting there i was just wondering what uh, what is up to then when we have then sir came yes doctor then my wife started 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 like that she was telling accusing me was is this was is this was is this was is this heard then what do you say he asked me sir whatever it is she is a doctor because of this marriage i don't want her to be disturbed because of a disturbance and the focus on the patient shall not be disturbed i am a son of a doctor if this marriage should be a problem for her right i want her live in peace so that our patients are safe that's all i don't want to elaborate there's nothing much you know what uh, sir said doctor i appreciate your concern for vasu see the words of all the allegations he made against me one line is summed it up doctor i appreciate your concern for vasu don't worry about him vasu is my family member i will take care of him thank you doctor you see how we handle the couple he want doesn't want to hear individually if you start hearing individually the negatives will be going on been projecting the positive the possible positive will be forgotten and only the area of agreements he just sees explores is there any area of agreement okay with which he can elaborate or if this area of disagreement is there is there a possibility of diffusing it or part as friends very clear i'll tell you that day onwards from that moment onwards i became a slave to sir nobody in my life said vasu is my family member every time i tell kausu menaka every time i take call i am here next minute 
because nobody supported me the kind of words i words of assurance i got from sir the confidence he reposed in me i'm telling you and I, i can never repay i don't know how to repay okay now this is the family counseling how we help me second the healing technique i was having a severe health problem 3 and 1/2 hours after solid food night i was rolling in the bed with pain and uh, medical test showed there are three blocks in my intestines top middle and the la- uh, small intestine joining the large intestine longest block i was taking medicines so i told sir i don't know what to do what else can be done he said you know hanuman sanjeev herbs he asked me you visualize hanuman is in front of you offering uh, with the herbs in his hand when you inhale you take the essence of the herbs and direct it to the block hold after inhale it removes the block you visualize the block is removed from that x ray the nice portion and the block portion you visualize it's expanding and when you exhale mentally chant om anjaneya namaha this you do it before going to bed because afternoons you are occupied you don't feel the pain after lunch night you got nothing alone you are experiencing the pain you do this and go to bed so what i did i did it in the morning before lunch i did it and night before going to bed i did it three months later i was following the medicines the top portion the block is gone Six months later, the middle is gone. The cut and paste technique will not work because total insert strains are involved. The last nine months, the last portion is also over. That gave me the confidence or the power of the mind, positive power of the mind. When I got healed, how I apply this Bhavana technique in my students? The technique is thought leads to works, works leads to action, action leads to habit, habit leads to character. and character is the destiny so thought if at all you want to bring any change bring the change at the thought level that when it applied to me okay i boldly apply on others then comes another interesting aspect addiction i was a smoker smoker in the sense two or three cigarettes a day one of the classes he asked the difference between pranayama and cigarette smoking conscious and cautious regulation of breathing <laughs> okay then himself said our system does 50% of our lifetime we inhale 50% of the lifetime we exhale even in himalayas the purest ambience you exhale 50% of your lifetime if you take toxin in during inhale when on earth you have got the lifetime to detoxify it that statement hit me so hardly finish that day i stop uh, smoking as a corporate guy i used to drink we can uh, one of the teachers meeting he said very forcefully um, um, he said don't think students are coming here because of you students are coming here this institute because of krishna macharya if don't everybody every yoga teacher here is a krishna macharya don't dilute his principles don't compromise so every teacher here is a krishna macharya this sentence hit me hard as usual sunday i went to the bar sat in the bar stool the bar fellow gave me the mug of beer this sentence came back to my mind in the dress code bare chested man we will not be allowed to enter the club in the bar will you sit and drink in the bar stool with a bare mug i cannot visualize one second thing if any of the students should come and see me and what will they think of the institute they'll think they won't see was them drinking krishna mataji yoga mandiram yoga teacher is drinking i am bringing i mean not bringing shame to that institute shame to the name of krishna macharya i just left the bar see that uh, change at thought level when it can change me i applied that for addicts when they come to me so yes must say idea that should make him to change so that helped me a lot another family issue my dot because we are separated 
Then my daughter did not been friendly with me. She did a design course in Ahmedabad, and she chose her marriage. One day when I went home, I used to be here. When I come here in the morning, I go at nine o'clock. I used to take hundred classes per month, uh, minimum uh, those days. When I went home, I found my daughter's wedding invitation on the floor. I was shocked. I didn't know what to do. I was so choked. Next morning, I went to sir. Sir, this is my daughter's wedding invitation. I don't know what to do. Why? What's the problem? She is getting married. Yeah, she is getting married. Fine. That's not a problem. The problem is, what is my role? I am a host or I am a guest. See, we have to offer the girl to the other family to the boy. That is our tradition. So okay, we are separated. Somebody else may do that. But in that function, I am supposed to be the host. I cannot be a guest. I don't know what to do. We just thought. Uh, what are the, the idea you have? He didn't. He didn't impose anything on my head. He asked me what I want to do. What I think the best, sir. I don't want to be in Chennai. When the marriage should happen, it will be very painful for me to be in Chennai. I don't know what to do. That's all. Okay. You, you don't want to be in Chennai. That time he called the director uh, studies. Hey, MRF Arakonam. It's about 100 kilometers from here. They wanted a two weeks program. For their exam, um, staff, send Vasu there for the two weeks. That happens during this marriage period, no? Right? And he ensured that my client, my friend also to accompany me to drop me there because the choked man I should not drive. So I was safely um, I was there in Arakonam, and he came back because of my commitment as a committed yoga teacher. I was totally occupied with my responsibility. He asked me, "You plan the course." He didn't. Say, give me any. You go there, see, and you plan the because he, he wanted me fully involved. Okay, yatha bhi mata, jana dwa. Once the mind is fixed on that, two weeks passed. I came back to Chennai. My daughter got married, left for US. You see how the so, concepts are applied in real life, and really it saved me. And then I wanted to go. And teach yoga for the people in the jail, jail inmate in the prison. Sir was not for it then. He said, "There is another doctor, Devan Ayagam. He is a homeopathy doctor. He wanted to uh, try out uh, HIV patients on homeopathy. Was why don't you do one thing? See, the doctor came and asked me, why don't you go to the TB sanatorium there and teach yoga there for the HIV patients? I said, no problem, sir. I will go." So I and another friend of mine, we used to go there and to the special ward, just Brahmana course, teach them the breathe technique, let them do. They, that is psychologically, they should feel that some other institute is also taking care and some other people are also willing to come and help them. So the, the winning over them emotionally. That's the game. Three months project, we went there and did it. Then he sent me to Amar Seva Sangam, this institute in Niram, uh, Tenkasi. The man is running a show, handicapped man, and uh, 350 handicapped children are there to go there and teach yoga. There is, I, when I saw 300 people in different degrees of handicapped nature, it opened my eyes. How fortunate I am! I'm just wondering, I don't have a wife, I don't have a daughter. No, the people are much deprived. People are there, so it changed my whole vision of the purpose of existence. Okay, there he helped me. There was something happened. I got after my daughter's wedding. I lost interest in uh, staying in Chennai. That's the time I came across a person who came here for his yoga. He is the chairman of one uh, uh, Ayurvedic institute, Shantigri Ashramam. His name is Gopal Krishnan. He was very much impressed about me, and uh, he wanted to combine yoga and uh, Ayurveda for the executives. I, he told me, sir, I am not for uh, this thing. I don't mind doing something, uh, so I introduce him to Sir. Sir, this man is having an idea of combining uh, yoga and Ayurveda for executives. The Panchikarna technique and uh, this one. Why not we do that? And uh, Sir was very happy with that idea, and he was very happy as so open and coming and telling him because that place what you are planning it is at, between Kanjivaram and uh, Madras, Sivarambutu. I was born in Kanjivaram. I want to shift to Kanjivaram so I can come to this place and do the job. Either I come to Chennai 
or I can go back to Kanjipuram. That place was ideal. He just said yes. Okay, he appreciated. You are open. I am not going to start an another institute in all terms and conditions like Krishna Macharya Yoga Mandiram and be a competitor, taking away the students, taking away the teachers, taking you no. It is a new approach, and and I openly discussed with him. I wanted your blessing, sir. He said yes, you can go, but any time you are, you are welcome. This is a, this is your place. That's the word, and I'm telling you now. What I am doing is, I yoga has got four pillars: asana, pranayama, meditation, and attitudes. I just restrict myself only to attitudes. and only yoga sutra concept and only to executives i don't want to concentrate any other field only for executives concentrating only on attitudes and real life examples because the the tons of experience what i gained 100 classes per month you can just imagine for 2 years how many case studies i have so that i share with them bringing them their life now i am a yoga teacher for executives okay this what i spend my time and this is what sir gave me uh, as uh, a memento for having been with him and uh, with in his uh, table it was there he gave this patanjali statue for me so with this blessing i went and i am always available whenever kaustub calls and menaga madam calls i am there 